New data from the CDC shows more than a third of high school students are struggling with their mental health. Almost half of teens said that they felt persistently sad or hopeless, and one in five say they have contemplated suicide. Dr. Christine Caulfield, CEO of LSF Health Systems, is joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank Good you for morning. being here. I appreciate it. You know, I know we have talked at length over the last several months during the pandemic yes. about how the isolation has impacted our young people in our lives. But what I thought was very interesting about this CDC analysis is the domino effect of maybe parents and their relationship with their child and the stress in the household that may be creating such a stressful, tense, you know, interaction between parents that it is making the kids really stressed and feeling like they have no other options. Absolutely. I'll tell you, there's been a third of the students that one parent or more, the other, uh, have lost a job. And that really escalates the stress for the parents. We have a 55% increase in alcohol sales, so lots of those parents are increasing their drinking and or drug use. Uh, lots of family violence occurred during this pandemic uh, and as we continue uh, in this in this st state. So we're, we're really concerned about our youth. So it, it is interesting because as stressful as this has been, I think and I hope that parents and, and caregivers who are watching will, will uh, look at this interview and take a deep breath and realize that maybe some of the things that they're saying or doing in relation to their teens yes. uh, is something they need to take a step back and maybe count to 10 and realize, hey, we've got to get through this together. Absolutely, <laughs> right? most so, definitely. So are there any other factors associated with the pandemic that you feel is really driving what's happening with some of, of the teenagers in our life who are feeling like they have no other options but, but are contemplating suicide? Yes, I'll tell you, about 140,000 youth in a one year span, mm. just at the beginning of our pandemic, lost a parent mm. or a significant caregiver, grandparent, aunt, somebody very close to them. And this is really exacerbating their grief, their struggles with their mental health. And this is going to, unfortunately, loss of a parent at an early age and for a young person, really puts them on a trajectory of continued poor mental health, depression, PTSD. So we really need to wrap our arms around our youth, get them the services and support they need, as well as those family members that are struggling as well. And I think that so much of this is also being able to recognize kind of the red flags, the sign that they're, you know, teens, I mean, trying to get my teens just to talk at the dinner table about their day. I mean, I get it. Yes. How do you how do you bring them out of that shell a little bit? And, and what signs should we look for as parents? You know, some of the signs are declining grades, yeah. um, uh, risky behaviors, mm -hmm. increase in their alcohol use or sexual behaviors, um, anger, behavioral changes in their personality. We really want to watch that. Mm -hmm. Isolation as well for the depression. And when you notice that your young person that you love mm -hmm. is struggling, it's please, uh, imperative, to reach out and get them some help. And what are the resources that are available here locally? Because sometimes people think, well, I, maybe they don't have insurance. Uh, maybe they don't know what's in their insurance policy that they have that makes, because this can, sometimes they worry that this could be something that's expensive for them, you know, counseling and whatnot. What are the resources? Absolutely. Absolutely. So at LSF Health Systems, we fund 62 behavioral health care organizations uh, wow. in our surrounding 23 counties and here in Jacks for individuals that are indigent, uninsured, or underinsured. Mm -hmm. So there is help out there, and we have an access to care line that you can call 24-7-1877-229-9098. We will plug you in to the resources in the community that you need. Dr. Caulfield, thank you so much. Such an important conversation to have and to listen to, to sit pleasure. down and make sure that you're listening to your kids, asking the right questions, and we appreciate yes. your time this morning. My pleasure.